Greetings and salutations. Oh, a ding. We have some special guests coming tonight. They're lost and they're from France. No, no, I'm not kidding, they're from France. Six hours and a half. That's not bad. Got air conditioning. How you doing, young man? How you doing? You ready to eat? Yeah. All right, let's go eat. I'll give you some backstory in a minute. Because he's not sleeping. It's 4, 4.30 in the morning. Good morning. How you doing? Did I wake you up, did we? <laughs> he's sorry because he can't speak louder because his mom is just in the back, so he no can scream but Three hours later. Four years ago, September 5th, 2015, it was a Sunday morning, and I was out to the gun range with my friend Jedediah, and we were out just planking in range slot number one at the Bell Vista gun range. When this SUV pulls in and four people pile out, and one of them was Leah, and she comes up and asks if we would be willing to smash her guitar. That guitar right there. And for the next hour or so, some shenanigans ensued. Leah got the opportunity to shoot my shotgun. It left a nasty little raspberry on her shoulder. And for the last four years, we've been communicating on Facebook and They've been watching my videos, and I appreciate that too, by the way. And that guitar has been hanging on my garage wall. And every time I come out here and look at that guitar, I think of that day, and, and it brings a smile to my face. Uh, Thomas and Lear are out here in uh, California and in Oregon and northern Nevada. And I asked them if they were going to um, come down our way. And in their initial plans, they weren't going to make it down here. And then... Uh, they reached out and said, hey, we're going to be in the area. Do you mind if uh, we swing by? <laughs> no, of course not. Come on over. They came over, we had dinner, and uh, we shared some fellowship. And what, what a 
I don't know. I just, it just I just can't wrap my head around it sometimes. How just a a seemingly insignificant event. And what are the chances? Think about the thin threads, and the chance of that meeting. You know, there are other people that go out to that gun range, and you know, range slot number one is the closest to the road. But we were we happened to be there that day that they came out. So I did find out a little bit backstory about about that guitar. It's an interesting story, and I hope I don't butcher it. I'm going to share it with you. So in August of 2015, about a month before Leah, Remy, Thomas, Lucas, a month before they came out to the gun range with that guitar, another friend of theirs was visiting the States, and their, their friend left this guitar at the same hotel that they were staying at, thinking that you know, it's kind of like a scavenger hunt. They were supposed to, this person was supposed to hide it, and they were supposed to find it. But turns out, this guy bought this guitar and didn't want to pay the extra baggage handling fee to, to put it on the airplane and bring it back to France. So they left it at the hotel room where, where these people were staying and hoping that they would bring it back so they would foot the bill. Well, that didn't set very well with them. So they were thinking of different ways that they could dispose of this guitar. They thought about pitching it over Horseshoe Bend in the Grand Canyon. They thought about smashing it into a car or running it over with a tire. They were afraid of that uh, something would puncture the tire of the car. Anyway, they thought of some pretty creative ways to destroy this, this guitar and then Thomas, apparently he's been to Pahrump before. Why anybody would want to come to Pahrump? But anyway, he'd been to Pahrump before and he'd been to that gun range before and he'd talked to some people at that gun range before. And so he said, well, let's bring it up to the gun range see if somebody's there and they'll ask me if they'll shoot it. And we happen to be a lucky contestant number one <laughs> that happened to be out there and we had a ball. You know, all the planets had to be in line and everything, everything had to happen just a certain way for those chain of events to occur so that we could meet. And now this might sound a little bit corny, but um, I get the feeling that our lives are enriched because of that meeting. We have friends now from the other side of the pond. I'm grateful for that chance meeting and, and the relationship that has, the long distance relationship that has ensued as a result of that. It was great to see them again. I hope I get the opportunity to break bed with them again one day. So Leah, Thomas, thanks for stopping out. Uh, I appreciate you um, taking the time to drive six and a half hours. They drove six and a half hours to come over to our place to have dinner with us. Thank you. and. Uh, Godspeed. I hope your travels here in the United States are pleasant and safe travels back home. And uh, my best to you and yours. Um, well, I just hope to see him again. If you're new to this channel and you don't know what the hell I'm talking about, go watch that uh, Best Day Ever video. It should be linked up here someplace. I'll put it in the end card too. And uh, go watch that video. What an awesome story. Uh, apparently, they're going to go have dinner with Jedediah, too, as well. Jedediah now lives in the uh, San Francisco area, and uh, so he's gonna, they're going to go spend some time with them, too. Thanks for the memories, and thanks for coming on over. And, and you, who are watching this video right now, thanks for watching this video. I appreciate that, too. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to that so you'll be notified of future uploads. Share this video with your vast social media network if you're so inclined. Comment in the comment section if it floats your boat. And I would appreciate it if you could click the like button. Because who doesn't like to click the like button? I like to click the like button. Will you click the like button for me, please? Thank you. You're awesome. If you didn't like the video, go ahead and click the dislike button twice. Go ahead. I'll wait. I won't wait too long because it's hotter than hell in his garage. Until next time, we got fun, stay safe, shoot straight, keep the powder dry, and have a splendid day. Good times, man, good times. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.